Hey folks, how you doing? Stambo here. It's uh, Friday, June 15th. It's about uh, 9.52 p.m. And I'm hiking in the bush. And as you can see, I uh, got a pretty late start. So it's pretty dark. And I'm within probably like five or six hundred meters of my camp I want to get to. But it's getting dark and I'm getting cloud overhead. And I don't know what you can see up there. But uh, it'd be dark in the bush. And I've got a headlamp and a flashlight, but uh, I'm doing solo. If I had a buddy with me, I'd probably uh, rough it out and get to the camp. I'm, I'm pretty confident I can get there. But uh, by myself, I just don't want to risk twisting an ankle and having to sit the night out God, fighting the insects all night long. So I'm out at my, uh, I'm on my claim right now at a clear cut. So it's not supposed to rain, so I think I'll make it a fire going and uh, just spend the night right here where I am. And so I probably won't really get any more video tonight, but come the morning I'll get up, head over to my camp, and I'm going to work on a uh, lean-to type of shelter that I brought some tarps to uh, finish off today. Alright, so ha have a good night, and uh, I'll chat with you in a bit. Ciao. Hey folks, it's uh, Sunday, June 16th, it's about a quarter to two. I've got to head out of the woods pretty soon to go meet my ride. I uh, came in last night to do an overnighter, but it was uh, darker than I expected with the overcast clouds. So I slept in a clear cut about half a kilometer from here at the top of the hill. I woke up around 4 o'clock this morning with a wicked migraine. And uh, that kind of put the kaput on my plans for the day. I, uh, had an accident messing around gymnastics as a kid and uh, it kind of morphed into these migraine headaches every now and then. So I woke up at four at the other site, hiked over here to my main camp because uh, all my goodies were over here at Creature Comforts so I could ride the day out. So I hopped in my hammock when I got here and then I pretty much slept until one o'clock. So I got up and I feel not bad so it's been about 45 minutes. So, uh, I did a little bit of work at a new shelter. So uh, here is uh, the beginning of it. There's a great big boulder, a big rock overhang. It goes, it's kind of like a natural lean-to. So then I took a whole bunch of these standing do uh, sta uh, can't talk, standing dead oak trees. All right, and then laid them up teepee style or lean-to style the other way I'll cross it. So you can see I threw some of my old tarps up there. I got one or two larger ones I'm going to put on top of those. And then I'll cover that with uh, some smaller sticks. And then I haven't decided if I want to use it for leaves or debris or if I want to cover it in moss and lichen because i got quite a bit of that around here too. Now I want to show you what's really neat about this particular spot. When you get inside, I haven't even figured out where I want to put the door exactly just yet. So we're inside here so I can stand up full in it. I'm six feet tall. And I'm probably going to leave a little bit of ventilation up there. Because, as you're going to see, if I look in there, this little cave, that's going to be my fireplace. Isn't that cool? And as you can see, I built a stone wall from this little boulder here across to that boulder and up to the main one. But inside there, in the cave, there's a hole that goes up just like a chimney. So then what I'm doing, as you can see here, is I brought a five-gallon can from home aluminum so it's punched full of holes and I got a hole cut in the bottom if you can see it so I'm going to use that as a smoker once it gets all uh, seasoned up a little bit because the smoke's going to come up there and come out here and then drift but the bulk of the, the chimney for the fireplace is actually in behind the can a little bit and it's going to come up and then out the little side of those uh, rocks right there so I won't have to worry about sparks and whatnot shooting up into the sky and lighting everything on fire if it gets dry and so over the days and weeks and months, I'm going to collect little rocks. And every time I come to camp, I'll throw a rock on. And eventually, I'll build this whole area with just rocks. And I'm prospecting so I can take the rocks and hammer them apart and look for samples and just put them off to a nice little pile. No muss, no fuss. All right. So there's another view from another angle. Now I'll wander up to my main camp because I've got to get my butt packed up and out of here. So it's not far from where I was, but there's another angle. 
So there's the rock wall I started. And the very top is my little hidden chimney. Now, see the idea for this place is that in the winter time, it gets cold out here. And the wife and I have taken up snowshoeing and whatnot and uh, winter hiking. So this will be my uh, little emergency spot for later in the winters. And I'll use it as my uh, base camp for when I come out moose hunting and deer hunting in the fall. It'll be a nice little place. All righty, I'll have to go to the main camp. <coughs> this is where I was originally was going to do it, if you remember the other video, but I stuck started taking down my wind block and I'm using material over at the other spot it uh it's a nice spot I might keep it up here for just for uh in the winter or summer sorry and other people come up with me so I get the pole to the tree and then the rope over for my hammock so now I'm just down to my single tarp over top of my uh, fire pit spot now so I guess I'll finish packing up that blue bag there is one year's worth of uh, you know non-burnable garbage that I've accumulated I don't like to burn a lot of stuff so uh, I pack it in a bag it looks huge but it's only about th maybe five pounds it's just paper and plastic and some old uh, compression sheets that I gotten worn through so what I'll do, I got the cache up in the tree or cache or whichever way you'd like to say it. All right, so I'm going to hike down. It's going to take me about half an hour, 40 minutes to get down to the pit. And uh, then maybe I'll get some bit of me squeezing out some rounds from my uh, little 22 there. It's my uh, dad's uh, it's a model 1906 uh, Winchester Pump 22. Fun little toy. Maybe I'll get some bit. All right, folks, i got to get moving. I'll talk to you in a bit. Ciao. Having a little break. Break? Pretty winded. Gorgeous spot. Yeah, being out here ill last night, it's one of those tests of endurance. Suck the energy out of my body, fighting the illness. I'm really kaput just even coming out of here. Oh, there's a plane. All right, my ride's supposed to pick me up in about half an hour, so I better get booting. All right, you guys have a good day.